can you buy a driver for just 20 pounds and use it to good effect? That was the question we were looking to answer in this video. Both myself and Joel Tadman from Golf Monthly have gone out and bought ourselves a second-hand driver for under 20 pounds, and we're gonna play a nine-hole match here at the London Club. We're also gonna run through a whole host of different challenges along the way to see who has the best 20 pound driver. Uh, guys, if you're new to the Golf Monthly channel, please do hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any of our, our videos. Hit the like button if you like what you're watching. Also hit the little notification bell to make sure that whenever we do post one, you don't miss it. Right, let's head out onto the golf course here at the London Club to find out exactly what Joel and I have brought with us. Right, so we both have head covers on our drivers that are not actually uh, the club that's underneath them. That's correct. Uh, Joel, uh, why don't you kick us off? What have you brought? Right, okay, so without further ado, I've been bigging this up for a while now, but here it is. <laughs> it's the Evalon anti-slice driver, um, <laughs> nine degrees. Um, reason I chose this, so actually, I kind of misconstrued the idea of the challenge. I thought we were buying drivers for the other person to use, so I was kind of, kind of stitched Neil up a bit, but it turns out I've got to use it myself. Um, but I've hit a few shots with it already on the launch one, so I'm, <laughs> in, I'm encouraged by the results. This I don't has... think it's... A, as dead as you think. Unbelievable amount of offset. Yes. <laughs> which I've not seen on a driver. Yeah, so I think this is, uh, it was originally a Japanese driver. Um, they did launch it in the US as well. Um, I paid £17 for this on one of the Facebook sale pages. Uh, went over to Kettering to pick it up. Um, the guy was a bit eccentric who I bought it from. But um, yeah, so there it is. How old is it? It's um, late 90s, I believe. Late 90s. Was, this was originally You've gone proper old. Yeah, what so shaft this, have you got in it? This is it's a lightweight. It's a Graffaloi Pro, Pro Light shaft. Um, regular, but it plays a bit stiffer than that. So I'm pretty confident I can find a few fairways with it. So yeah. <laughs> have you been perfecting your slides? I, just for I this have. Yeah. Although, very challenge. So this water's this hole's got some water down the left. So I'm a bit worried about that because it does tend to hook a little bit. But we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, what okay. am I up against, Neil? Uh, well, I have gone square. Oh. So, Nike. I've gone no. for the Callaway <laughs> FTI driver. I'm sure many wow. people watching this will have re will remember the time that square drivers were out on the market, may have even owned one in the past. If you have, leave a comment below. What did you think of it? I picked this one up for just 15 quid. Wow. Uh, dates back to April 2007 it was launched. This actually is available in three different sets. You can have it as a draw, a neutral, or a fade. I have it in a drawer, and what I didn't realise when I bought it is what combo flex meant. It's a, this has a G-Tech graphite design shaft in it, and it says combo flex, so I thought I'll just go with it and see what it is. Anyway, it's a little soft. Right. Um, but again, I also picked it up on Facebook. I think this is quite a good buy. Um, having said that, the proof will definitely be in the pudding. So, so yeah, right. Um, Could be some start? very interesting results. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Heads or tails? Uh, tails never fails. Apart from on this Apart occasion. From today. <laughs> uh, you can go. Oh, no. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to go first. Right, okay, let's do it. I've got to peg this quite low because it's got a very shallow face. It's quite a thing to look at, that driver. <laughs> yeah, um, brand new. John's got half a chance of shanking this, yeah, which I really it's do got hope you do. a very big kind of dented hosel area, which should stop it going right, but it first tee nerves and all that. Could shank it, but let's see. Well, it's a bit toy, but it's in play. <laughs> it wanted to come back, didn't it? Just in the right semi. Fine, yeah, I will take that. By the bunker there on the right. That. Wasn't the best strike, but. Both of our drivers are set up, Joel, to very much prevent the slice Absolutely. from taking place to go left when you've got a massive pond all the way down the left. Yeah. So I'm glad glad my one stayed right. Right. <laughs> exactly the same line as mine. It's gone very a high. Higher. Oh, bunker. Is it? I think so, possibly yeah. in the bunker. Also, did you hear, mine made us sound as if it's got a rattle. <laughs> it's got quite a loud rattle. I'll put it next to my microphone. I think you can might hear that. <laughs> I didn't detect that when I first hit it, so... Uh, what do you expect for £15? <laughs> yeah, true. Character.
He's made it. That's very cheeky. <laughs> That's a five. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting it either. This for the win, though. Oh. How'd you get a half out of that? <laughs> <laughs> An honest half. <laughs> oh, good shot. Be good. Oh, very Been cheeky. Right. This is the 11th hole here on the Heritage course of the London Club. You might know it from the Andy Sullivan hole in one video. So he stood here and he hit not that many shots, no, it wasn't was it? No, it was it. Yeah. Um, I wasn't too far away from holding one there. No, that's quite a good shot. But uh, it's uh, um, playing about 155 yards or so from here. Oh, I've got him rattled. That's not, actually not that bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> black bunker. <laughs> How's that gone in the that. bunker? What'd you hit? Eight. Oh, What'd you hit? I hit a little smooth seven. <laughs> There's all sorts right, that's wrong about that. <laughs> oh. Aggressive. <laughs> not, not even Terrible. close, I'm afraid. Terrible. One up to oh. me. One to Joel. Another Damn day. it. Another win. So, Neil, tell us about your uh, head cover. It looks like it's seen some golf. Yeah, mine <laughs> came complete with its own very own head cover. A little bit faded, a little bit tatty around the edges, but... This like it's been chewed by a dog <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, it's seen better days, but look, <laughs> it's there. Um, um, now, we have the first challenge for you, Joel. Yeah. And that challenge is the RRP of the driver. Right. So. You need to figure out what the RRP of the driver was when it was new, up against what you paid for it, okay. and the biggest difference wins. Right. So, My, mine's a bit complicated, so bear with me because I struggled to find the exact number. But I saw an advert in Japanese on YouTube that was advertising <laughs> this. How do you know? Uh, you speak Japanese. Well, I, I doing some research. That was like where it was originally sold. Uh, so it was advertised for thirty thousand yen. So I converted that to dollars, and that equated to two hundred seventy-five dollars. Okay. Back then, so if you do, I did, oh, really? I, did some okay. I did some googling. If you translate kind of the time that's passed, so two hundred seventy-five dollars back then would have been worth now three hundred ninety dollars. Oh right, okay. So then Which you is convert in pounds? Back, back to pounds. <laughs> it was about two ninety pounds. So. I think that's kind of what it would have been worth. So minus your 17. Minus 17, you do the maths, 273 pounds. Okay, so I think mine's a lot more straightforward. So Golf right. Monthly reviewed this with a price attached to it of 399 pounds. So yours is worth a lot more. So if you lose, that's even more embarrassing for you. It, it is, but <laughs> it gets me an important point okay. in the challenge. You're one up, are you? Yeah, right, third hole, let's go. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to try and play a little fade here. Down the left. Well, oh, good luck with that. Yeah, with my anti slice. Fade not designed fade. to fade, so it could be interesting because I want to play a fade here. <coughs> oh, that's perfect, Joel. Straight <laughs> in the. I mean, it, it has nearly, faded a bit. I've nearly missed it. That's right. It's fine. <laughs> I tell you, this driver is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Can't not hit it vaguely straight. I need to tee mine down, which is not what I did at the first. So, right. This should have the best MOI. It should have an amazing <laughs> Definitely. MOI. Definitely. It's a bit slow, probably, but you'll definitely outdrive mine. That's a great drive. High draw. Sit. Still going up as it passes mine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Side of the fairway. When's the longest drive challenge? <laughs> we'll do it that's, soon. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give this driver a try off the deck. Obviously, it's winter rules now, so you're able to get a good lie, and because it's got such a shallow face, it should help get the ball 
up in the air a bit easier than maybe modern day drivers, but we'll I guess, see. I guess we will see. So it's par five. Anywhere up there would be okay. I'll tell you what, <laughs> that was better than I expected. Although it's definitely the wrong club because it's gone in the bunker. <laughs> but it was it was fun challenge anyway. <laughs> 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 oh oh my god, mate. I thought I had that. Unfortunately, it's just sort of spun outside <laughs> gimme range. <laughs> outside gimme range. Okay. How, but do you, how do you want it? I'm hoping that I won't need. Take it out for me. Two, two for the win. <laughs> Feeble effort, but good, good enough. Good enough for the win. All square. And we're back to all square. Okay, so 13th hole here at the London Club. It's not really a driver hole. There's water down the right hand side, um, bunkers down the left. If you're a really big hitter, you can sort of try and get it up near the green. It's not today in this weather, it's not really a driver, but it's a driver challenge still. So, <laughs> we? so I'm going to try and hit a normal good drive, but I'm going to try and hit left and miss the bunkers. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's um, a very small time and the rough. for you to hit. So yeah. I'm quite glad you're doing this strategy, to be honest. <laughs> That's got to be wet, surely. Pushed it. No! Splash. Damn it! Fantastic to see. That wasn't a bad shot, was it? It, no, it was it probably... Good, it was a good shot on the wrong hole. Ten yards right of target. So I'm going to just try and chip this uh, driver, just just down the middle, just 220, just a nice little caress down the fairway, win the hole. It's a bit, it's a bit left. <laughs> That's where the slice, anti-slice mechanism hasn't helped you out there. It's fine, it's in the rough, it's dry, and advantage moi. <laughs> Okay, so while the greenkeeper's just finished mowing uh, the 13th green, we thought it was time for another quick challenge. And Joel and I have both hit our drivers on a launch monitor. And so what we're gonna do is look at the average carry numbers and the average dis uh, and the dispersion numbers, add the two together, and the smallest difference between that and our current drivers wins. Okay, Right. I think I understand. Yeah, so what did you get? So, so first the average carry. So average carry with my Evalon anti-slice was 244 yards. Uh, and with my current driver, I averaged 270 yards. So it's 26 fine. yards. 26, so right, fine. Difference. Uh, and the average dispersion I had was <laughs> minus six yards to the left. Uh, and I'm normally around two yards off line with my current driver. So that's four yards. Are you? Yeah. How do you say so myself? Yeah. Uh, so that's, well, 26 plus four, 30. 30 yards. 30 in total, yeah. 30 okay. Yards. Well, my average carry with my uh, Callaway FTI was 245. Ooh. And the average carry with my driver on the day of the test, that I did the test because I hit my driver again, yeah. was 276. So that's 31 yards. Okay, so I've already won. You've already right? won. <laughs> but if you throw into addition to that, I was on average. 22.3 yards left <laughs> with the <laughs> Callaway FCI and only 4.2 yards left with the TaylorMade M6 that I'm using. So uh, put those two numbers together, you've got 18 yards for dispersion and 31 yards. Uh, so that's 49. Wow. A so comprehensive win for me on that one. Comfortably right? won that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just show you now as well, Joel, my what my pat range pattern looked like. And I'll flash up on the screen, you can see. Um, that's how far left I was. It's consistent. It was very consistent. I hit one that I buttoned straight down the middle with yeah. a little draw. Everything else was a little hooky. I think the shaft isn't quite right for you, Neil. No. Yeah. So challenge two, it's one all. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a bit 
firm, Joel. Oh my God, look at that going. I've had a reprieve. There's definite work in that. It's a hell of a misread, that, isn't it? <laughs> Wide ball. I thought it was going to trickle right. Oh, I've shoved it. <laughs> Take it away. It's good, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no, I've got this for a, dump, uh, for a bogey. And for, a, for a half, though. And a half. Well done. Let you off the hook there, massively. <laughs> oh dear. All square on to hole number 14. Correct. Let's go. Hole number 14, long par four. Well, 408 yards, that's long enough. Um, right. <laughs> the rattling is unbelievable. Every time he waggles the club, is a massive the rattle. The rattling is brilliant. quite off-putting. Their way. Oh, right out of the toe. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over the bunker. It's in perfect position, Joel. Very lucky. It's a good job the forgiveness on this is through the roof. <laughs> In some birdie. Yeah, oh. I'll give you that. Oh, we both had a few narrow escapes, Joel. All square still, two four good, to play. Two good pars though. That's a difficult hole though. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, longest drive challenge. Uh, Joel and I both can hit three drives. It's the 15th here at London Club, long par five, straight hole. Um, yeah. Three drives, longest we'll, wins. We'll play, in the match, we'll play our best one. And yours are all, we're both using Pro V1X, but yours are all number 16s. Indeed, yeah. Okay. They've got to be on the fairway. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not going to be on the... Oh. Pretty big draw. Oh, it might be. No. No. I think it was left. I might need to try and get one on the fairway. It's very, very high, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's the tactical, you know, whether you try and steer one to get one in play. The nerves will jangle if this one misses. Oh, no. Oh, no, you've killed some birds I've nearly. killed it. You will never see that golf ball again. <laughs> that is in the thick stuff. <laughs> OK. Well, no pressure then, Neil. Oh, but... no, no, no. Right, I'm going to have to hit the fairway now. You did... I say in your earlier launch one of the bit that you're missing left and that is proven it's to fairly be consistent case. isn't it maybe you want to be aiming I might aim right bushes over here oh here we go okay Good that's one. on the fairway that'll be your best one by a country mile okay good is it in the fairway? Yeah. I'll take it it's definitely in the fairway Joel okay. don't even question it right would you describe any of those as long they look like good shots, you know, high draws. Um, I think the Ebalon's going to surprise you here, though. <laughs> it's like you're setting up a drill. <laughs> um, OK. Right. Oh, well, you've Come killed on. it. It's Come the best on. one you've hit so far, but it's not drawn. Come back. Can't see it. Right hand semi. Is it? Good shot though. Why didn't it draw? Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's in the fairway. That's way. all I've got. That's all I've got. Good shot. 
centre cut. Your driver is definitely not as soft as shaft. No, it's, not soft, it's is got it? a nice strong flight, hasn't it, actually? Right, I've got one in the fairway so I can hit this as hard as I want. Oh! Go on, more in the tank there. Go on! That's down the middle as well, so. We'll this could be a very dark day Come on, in the history of Golf Monthly <laughs> when I'm beaten in a long drive challenge by you. Feeling confident. Oh. Come on, the Ambulon. Okay, so um, there's three balls here. Uh, I'm pretty sure both of those are Joel's. This is my last drive here. Not very long, probably got about 245 yards, I'd yeah. say. And with the line of the T, so, you know, the T is, is straight up there. So what's clear is that my third drive has won. By about five yards? Yeah, yeah, comfortably. That's very so, disappointing, you know, actually. Do you know what it is? It's that mine spins too, too yeah, much. This hole is a little bit into the wind, so it kind of just climbed a bit. Yours is quite, yours is, you, you should think about putting that in <laughs> Honestly, it's so straight. It doesn't go right, as it says, it's anti-slice. Keeps it nice and low. This shaft is really good and um, proof is in the pudding, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, uh, we're on to now our next challenge. So our next challenge is a driver off the deck one. Now you've already had a little nibble of yours off it the went deck. All right. I haven't. It went well. Um, but it's this, it's given that this is a, a long par five, Joel, let's hit our next shots, drive off the deck, best shot wins. Okay. Okay. And it's preferred lies, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, I smoked it. Oh my God, please don't kill him. It's that in the fairway. It's a, that's a perfect soft draw, Joel. I think you need to start hitting that off the deck, off the tee. <laughs> and it'll help you out. Well, it right, it's, it's a soft draw. It's on the, just yeah, in the just semi. Just in the semi, but... Scooped it off nicely, to be fair. Let's go and find out where they fit it. I'm pretty sure I know who's won this one. <laughs> Let's go find out. I like how you're adding challenges to the game <laughs> so you can try and win. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> right, so, Joel, this is your drive off the deck here. Mine, I don't know if, Tom, if you can see it. It's quite a long way in the distance up there. It's probably see, done you by I'm quite happy yards. with that, though, because I've got a nice full shot into this pin. So, But it does make the score in terms of challenges to all. So This is true, but hopefully it makes my job of trying to win this hole a little bit easier. But I guess we'll find out. 80 yards. Oh, oh, that's a good shot. Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh, God, it nearly went in. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, told you it was easier. <laughs> so I've got to hit this quite close here, I think. You're, it looks like you're... Six feet? Yeah, maybe, maybe closer. Oh, that's a big divot. It's got to go, I think. Go! Yeah, it's a little shy. <laughs> well, Joel, that, that, that yeah. puts a little bit of pressure on, doesn't it? Does a bit. Oh, no, I walked it in. Joel's just committed the sin of walking that putt in <laughs> and uh, suddenly finds himself one down. So. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. What? How's that broken that much? <laughs> Too many. 
<laughs> good part. Oh dear, it's good enough. Oh, well done. Good part. Door me two up. Oh no. Oh, what happened there? It's a funny yard, it's up the Yeah, it wasn't. I had a bit too much bat and I tried to hit a big fade and I did. That's fine. That's fine, Joel. That's actually a good place to hit it. This is position Z on this hole, I think. Go, go! Uh. One up with one to play. Right, so we've reached the last hole, London Club here, Heritage Course. Uh, it's one up in the game to you, Neil. Yep. I have the honour. And on this hole, we're going to do the straightest drive challenge. So it's two all at the moment on challenges, so all to play for. And the match itself is worth two points. So there's a lot at stake. Uh, it's quite a tight fairway. Uh, the Evalon, so far, I've only hit two fairways with it. Uh, I've missed a few in the semi-rough. But um, not had to look for no, any. No, not like horrendous, you know, duck hooks or anything, but they have all gone left, um, which you would expect with this <laughs> offset driver, to be honest. The face is about two inches behind the shaft. But on this hole, there's a lot of water down the left, so it doesn't really set up well for the Ebelon. Oh, just, but, um, just stop making excuses. I'm hoping it can... <laughs> That's a problem for both of us on yeah. this hole. Pull something out of the bag. I'm going to aim quite a long way right, to be honest. So straightest drive, closest to the centre of the fairway, wins a point. Oh, that's good. Stay there. That is good. Stay there. That's pretty straight. I'm pretty happy with that. That's very good job. On the short grass, put the pressure on. Okay, so. Yours oh. has also been going left. I'm, quite I'm now feeling quite a lot of pressure on this yeah. shot. Do just, I just bail out, go right, and try and win the match? Well, this is the thing. The match is worth two, so the match is more important technically. Or do I try and win both? But if I win this hole and then halve the match, Oh, it's a rocket, and it's pretty strong. Mm, bit right, but it's fairway. Oh, why can't we have done the longest drive on this hole? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have a look, but I think I've just pipped in there. Right, we reckon this is about the middle of the fairway. Yeah. Um, yeah, OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. OK, shall I do mine? Boat on a, go back on the line to the T. About here. I think it's clear who wins it. <laughs> One, I think... two, three, four, five. Straightest drive winner. Three, two to me, but I'm losing in the match, so it's all to play for. Get up there. Get up. up there. Get up there. Oh my God, it's miles short. I was kind of about 30 yards short, so I'm going <laughs> to take advantage of that and hit one more club than I thought. Bit long. Hurry. See them three putt these before. Uh, definitely outside oh, the circle oh. of trust. Well. Especially as it's for the win. Obviously I've got to knock this in, haven't I? Take the pin out please, Neil. Right, it's got to go. Hope for the best. No. That's good enough. Neil, well played. You deserve oh well. that. Thank you for the game. <laughs>
Let's go and talk about how our drivers performed and uh, whether we thought a 20 pound driver could be playable out on the course. Okay, so uh, challenge complete. Um, quick recap, so Joel, I won the uh, RRP test. You did. Then Joel won the launch monitor test. Uh, and then you went on and you won the longest drive and the straightest drive, but I won the shot off the deck. Yes. And given that I also won the match, two, uh, two, two up? Uh, yeah, two up. Two yeah, up. Two up. Uh, that means that I won the overall thing. Well done. Um, thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, you were playing for the reputation of the Evalon driver, <laughs> and sadly, you, you well, didn't quite. You say you say that, but I, you know, I was pretty impressed with this driver. And I, you I, I was really impressed with it actually. And you think about the challenges that I won, you know, on this test. So the launch one was a test and the straightest drive championship. Um, <laughs> You've upgraded it. Kind Good. of validates the performance that it offers in that, you know, it says anti-slice on it and I didn't hit one shot to the right, did no. I? It was all, you know, curving to the left. And while it might look very funky um, and lack a bit of off-centre forgiveness, it was surprisingly easy to hit and, you know, taking out one side of the golf course is always a good thing. Yeah. Um, if you know it's going to stay straight or draw, you can allow for that. And as a result, I hit some pretty good drives. So the question is then, Joel, if you were putting that into play, uh, as opposed to your current driver, yeah. how many shots worse off do you think you'd be? It's a good question, because you think about how far behind you are with this driver. You know, we're talking 30 to 40 yards on holes, therefore you're hitting much longer clubs into greens. So rather than hitting six and seven irons, you're hitting four irons and three woods and sometimes drivers into the holes. So there are much more difficult shots. You're going to miss, miss more greens. You're going to have to get up and down a lot more. It's going to put a lot of pressure on your short game to save par. So, you know, for me, I'll, if I had to put a number on it, it would probably be three to four shots because that distance factor is crucial and the off-centre forgiveness as well. We don't all find the centre of the face with the drives on every hole. So you're probably going to be missing more fairways on those off-centre hits as well. So you factor in those two things together, yeah, probably three or four shots. Yeah, and this driver had eight years on yours. Yeah, this so was eight years older. worth of uh, development further forward and actually I sort of got on really quite well with it. I know that, what, the same as Joel said, it's a lot shorter than my driver. I reckon yeah. I'm, I would be at least 40 yards shorter with this and yeah. I was hitting a lot of club into a lot of greens which was definitely costing me, especially today where it's really wet underfoot. But once I'd made a few adjustments for the fact that it was going left, I felt like I was in really good control with it. I, I don't think I was in any less control of this than I would be of my own driver out on the golf course. Yeah. Um, but Definitely giving up a lot of distance. The rattle's going to get on your nerves <laughs> after a while. Yeah, this one doesn't have a rattle, which is good. But for 15 quid, I'd say that even though it's square, <laughs> is a pretty good buy. And also, I think if you're lucky enough to find a bargain, a driver like this, that is relatively in your spec, you know, there's no reason why you can't hit good shots with it. You know, we've seen with yours, it's a bit soft. It's going quite high and left sometimes. But, you know, if you get a, the one that's in your spec, like I said, um, you can hit some good shots with it. Yeah, I think we were both surprised by how good our drivers were, actually. Definitely. I was very surprised by how good <laughs> When I pulled was. this off, and saw the, when, when you saw the look of it, you were thinking, what are you going to be doing here? But I think it surprised you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very much so. So there you have it. That was the driver, the £20 second-hand driver challenge. Um, the uh, Callaway FTI was the winner, uh, but I think overall they both did pretty well. I think the Eberlon anti-slice, you know, it, it held its own. Yeah. Guys, what do you think? Uh, please do leave some comments below. Uh, have you used either, is there anyone out there that's used that? I'd be surprised. But if there is, please do leave comments below. What, how did you get on with it? Uh, if you've used this one, again, uh, you know, what were your experiences of it? It's been very interesting to test out uh, equipment that's just that much older than we're curr currently using. And it shows that as time ticks by, those gradual evolutionary changes that happen year after year, they do add up to quite a bit in the end, even though these are still pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, a bit of a muddled conclusion there, but there we go. Um, so there you have it. That's the end of the uh, £20 second-hand driver challenge. Uh, we will see you next time.